Good morning. I just wanted to um, make sure that everybody knows how to do the peer review um, that is due Thursday. So the instructions for the peer review appear here, but your actual work will be over there on the draft link. Um, so uh, you should see an eyeball by the assignment line. And when you see, click that eyeball, then I want you to click the eyeball of the person just beneath you on the roster. Okay. Um, so only people who have submitted and have grades will show up for you all on there. Um, so click the eyeball of the person that is showing up just beneath you on the roster. Um, you're going to read your peer's paper. And then in the comment box of that paper, and I'll show you what that means in a minute, you're going to answer these questions. Here's what I do. I, I wouldn't repeat these questions. I would just write in complete sentences to answer them. Okay, so what article did your peer review? Did she he or she mention the title and author early in the essay? Uh, according to your peer, what is the general thesis of the article? Uh, does the peer provide ample summary of the article for his or her reader? Explain. How does the peer analyze the article? What components does he or she focus on? Does the essay include the APA citation? And I'm talking about the one that I provided for y'all. Um, and then does the peer maintain third person point of view? So um, remember, there's a sample paper in, in your chapter four. The whole chapter is about writing rhetorical analysis. There's a sample paper linked to um, the assignment. And um, so there are many ways that you can go about analyzing. But I'm, I'm interested in, you know, how each person chose to, to approach that. So those are the questions you, you want to answer. You might want to write them down or do a split screen or something because when you come back over here, you're going to be working in um, with the, in this screen. So if you click, oh, come on, click the eyeball. If you click the eyeball, let's say you, you're going to review, uh, I don't know, let's say you're going to review Jennifer's here. Okay, so you'll click that eyeball. So this takes us, this is the section for Jennifer's paper. And so you would open the file and read it. Well, if you have your peer review questions in hand, it might be easiest to type out your answers, let's say at the bottom of her paper. If this is just temporary. You're not doing anything with her actual paper. You're just reading it. So you would... Um, Read through the paper, maybe maybe at the very bottom. Not very good at it. Maybe at the very bottom, write your answers here, and then you could copy and paste them over. So, um, you know, if you had, this is just a practice. I, had, I have not read anybody's papers. Okay, so I copied, and this is the box that we're going to work on work in. So. You, so you could actually, um, you know, paste it here. But let me show you what happens. So this is the reason I'm recommending typing it out somewhere else first. If you accidentally click outside of the box and then click back in to continue typing, it erases what you had. So you, you want to be very make sure that you are ready to post whenever, um, you know, you have in here. Ready to post. Don't click out. Don't use special symbols. So what I mean by that is if you um, use the percent sign, let's see if it will work. Now that actually worked. It used to kick it out for us if we did that. But uh, anyway, um, just be mindful that this box is not the, the greatest thing in the world, but this is where I want your comments to come up. And uh, then you can read the comments about, you know, that your peer writes about you. So this was in, Gen so this is Jennifer's. If I were to hit open file again, it would pull up Jennifer's um, paper. And then you would hit return to return back to that screen with all the eyeballs. Okay, so, um, so that's how you do it. That you, the, it'll appear in the comments box um, for that paper. Okay, um, I hope this goes well. Um, I will be getting with you very soon about research and about full-on APA format. You do not have to have a title page or um, abstract for this particular assignment, um, but we'll be getting into all of that over the next week. Uh, I'll talk to you soon.